Hey, what's going on everybody? Big J Glees here. And in this video, we're gonna go over how to make glowing text in GIMP. And you can see right here with this thumbnail from one of my Mortal Kombat videos, I made the text glow. So stay tuned, you're gonna find out how to do this. This is great for making banners or for making thumbnails on YouTube. Now, so what we're gonna do to make our text glow, we're going to click the icon right here, which is the text icon. Typically, when you begin typing, the font is usually black unless you set it to something else. So against a black background, you're not gonna be able to see the text until you actually change the color. But we're gonna go over how to do that as well. So we're just gonna type out how to make it we're going to change the color by clicking that clicking the white and we're also going to change the font and i particularly like the impact font it's my favorite font because it's easy to read and we're good to go all right so we have our first line of text and we're going to make a second line of text and what we're going to do to make this easy is we're going to duplicate the layer click this to move it now we're going to move it down and we're just going to change the text. Now, if I start from the outside here, you'll notice that the settings are the original settings. So if I'm to the left of the font or the text that I previously wrote, it's going to go back to default. So I always go one inside. So I'll start from the H and then I'll delete the H at the end. So how to make text glow in GIMP. All right, so we're gonna delete the rest of that text. We're gonna come back over, delete the H, and then we're gonna move our things into position. Does it fit? All right, it does fit. And this is gonna be my thumbnail for this video. Now, you wanna make sure that all the text is correct. All right, so is it correct how to make text glow in GIMP? Everything's good. I actually made a video with this and I talked about making sure that the text is correct and then I did it and the text wasn't correct. So I'm re actually redoing this video. This is the second time I'm doing it. Now, to make the glow effect, you wanna make sure that your text is highlighted or selected, I should say, in the layers area. So right here you can see that the text is selected and it's text glow in GIMP. That's what we're gonna make glow we're going to go up to filters we're going to go lighting and shadow and we're going to add a drop shadow and once you do that you can then pick a color all right i'm going to pick a yellow i think that's going to make for the nicest brightest glow here and it also matches my man cyrax who's chilling out at the bottom of the screen all right so we picked our color our blur radius, let's go with like a uh, like a 40, we'll say. We're gonna keep the four and four and the 60 opacity. And what that is, is how see-through the actual glow is. And if you have it set for 60, but you wanna make it glow a little bit more, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. All right, so we're gonna keep it here. We're not going to allow resizing. All right, we're gonna click okay, boom. All right, so you can see that it does have a slight glow to it. And you can notice here that the font or text is a different layer than the drop shadow. So the drop shadow is a different layer and it's underneath. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to merge these layers together if we wanna be able to move them around. So we're gonna right click on the top layer and we're gonna click merge down. All right, so that merges the layers for us. All right, you can see right here, the layers are merged. Now, like I said before, the glow might not be to your liking. It might be a little bit dull. So what we're gonna do to increase the amount of glow is we're gonna duplicate the layer. So as long as you're highlighted here in the layers on the one that you wanna duplicate, go down to this icon here. It says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. We're just going to click that. And notice it gets brighter and we're gonna do it again. Boom. All right, so now we have some really bright glow here. Now again, we have three separate layers, so we're going to merge the layers again. So we're gonna merge down and merge down. Now it is all one layer, one piece. All 
right? So I can move it around, I can do what I want with it. And you just do the same thing to the top. So we're gonna go through this a little bit quicker here so you can kind of see how easy it actually is. We're gonna go filters, lighting and shadow, drop shadow, everything's already set, boom, click OK. Come back over here, merge down, click it again, duplicate, duplicate, merge down, merge down, boom. All right, we're good to go. All right, and our overlay is now finished. We have the nice yellow glow. We have the GIMP icon that we downloaded and added to our overlay. And I just added Cyrax because he matches one. Combat Pack 2 just came out, or I shouldn't say came out, was just unveiled, and he's gonna be in it. And I love Mortal Kombat, so why not? All right, so that's why he's there. And if you have any questions about this, just leave them down in the comment section below. Let me know, I'll be sure to try to help you as best as possible. If you have any other questions about GIMP, graphic design, overlays, Twitch streaming, any type of things like that, leave it down in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at BigJGlees and you can ask me there also. I'm actually a lot quicker answering on Twitter than I am on YouTube because my phone doesn't load YouTube as well as it does Twitter. So if you wanna follow me on Twitter and ask me some things there, that's cool as well. All right, so that's it. Thanks for checking in. It's Big Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong. If you're looking for graphics, Twitch overlays, or video overlays for your YouTube videos, be sure to check out my website, freevideogamebackgrounds.com. Here you will find free designs you can use for your Twitch streams and YouTube videos. I'm also available to create custom designs for your individual needs. For more on this and custom design inquiries, just click the link down in the description below. Thanks for checking in. It's Big Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong.